You know how most stories start in a tavern? Well, this story is similar, only it starts in a bar. And it starts with information, or maybe misinformation. You know that deal with the Orlocks was bad for business. You've got three seconds to tell me where they are. Look, I don't want any- Time's up. Stick his head on a pole outside and search the area. Well, it turns out Honest Bill wasn't so honest. Welcome to Season 3 Shadows of Primus. You can tell I'm having a lot more fun with the editing effects. We're excited to bring you more battle reports and the beginnings of a new story. We'll be trying our hand at a Dominion campaign and we'll uncover all of the factions as they are introduced. If you happen to catch any errors with our list or have any suggestions, don't hesitate to contact me in the comments below. Just keep in mind that we are not experts, and our reports are centered more around the narrative aspect of Necromunda and just having fun. We put a lot of time into developing this content, so if you like it, be sure to let us know with a thumbs up. In today's matchup, the Dark Syndicate of House Dalak have brokered a deal between the Thunderhawks of House Goliath and the Renegades of House Orlok, a deal where the winner was neither. Now the House of Chains seeks out the House of Shadows to make them pay. Before we get to today's battle, let's take a few minutes to get acquainted with both gangs. The Thunderhawks of House Goliath are led by Big Red, a vat-born forged tyrant equipped with a combi pistol and power hammer. His skill of choice is Bull Charge, giving his melee weapons plus one strength and knockback on the charge. He wears furnace plates, as all members do, and has stem slugs. Hulk is a stemmer equipped with paired pulverizers. His skill is Berserker, giving him plus one attack die on the charge. He should be a wrecking ball in close combat. Brutus is a bruiser specialist equipped with an axe and grenade launcher. Piston is a bruiser with a shotgun. Lugnut is a bruiser with a stub cannon. And Python is a bully with an axe and spud jacker. And Beatstick is a forgeborn with heavy rock saw and stub gun. The total initial loadout is 995 credits. For the Dark Syndicate of House Delac, Mr. Black currently leads the group. He is equipped with a plasma gun and stiletto knife, along with mesh armor. His skill is Overwatch, allowing him to interrupt a visible enemy's action as soon as it is declared. He loses his ready marker, but can take a shot. Raven is a champion equipped with a long rifle with infrasight and flak armor. His skill is Fast Shot, treating shoot as a simple rather than a basic action, essentially giving him two shots. Sinfall is a champion equipped with two Fletchet pistols. He has the skill Gunfighter and does not suffer the minus one penalty to hit for the Twin Guns Blazing rule. He also has Mesh Armor. Darkseid is a specialist with a web gun and smoke grenades. He also has Mesh Armor. Severus is a ganger with a shotgun, smoke grenades, and flak armor. Snake Eyes is a ganger with an auto gun and flak armor. And Sinister is a ganger with a last gun and flak armor. In total, 995 credits. We'll be fighting over the Ashgate territory, which will be randomly rolled for the first week of games. Today's scenario will be downtown dust up, and both gangs rolled up for six fighters. In this scenario, fighters can be placed anywhere on the board, but must be six inches away from another fighter, friend or foe. Then seven hive dwellers will be placed on the board six inches from the board edges. These dwellers will shoot, fight, and move depending on actions that happen close to them. The battle ends when only one gang has fighters left on the board. If at least half of the hivers are taken out of action or are broken, the game is a draw. Otherwise, victory goes to the gang who has fighters left. Two tactics cards have been selected, and we're ready for the first game of Season 3. I hope you enjoy. Alright, deployment is complete. All fighters are set up at least six inches away from each other. Hivers have been placed on the board. For tactics, the lack has taken over here, allowing them to control an enemy fighter's movement, as well as mass infiltration, giving D3 fighters the infiltrate skill. They rolled up a one there. Raven, with his long-range rifle, will come in after deployment. 
Goliath has taken inhuman resilience, allowing their pinned fighters to immediately stand up and a recovery roll to be made for their injured fighters, as well as brutal charge, giving a fighter two inches increased movement and plus one to their attack. In addition, the weapon gains the knockback trait. We can see Raven there on the backside of the board. He did have to deploy out of line of sight. Priority rolls going out for turn one, and Goliath will be up first. And starting the game, Bruiser is going to target Dark Syndicate with his grenade launcher, firing in crack mode, which is a strength six shot. He is going to aim first, which will uh, negate the partial cover that Dark Side is in. So he will need fours to connect, and that shot will miss. Next up, Mr. Black is going to target Python. He will aim first, and he is short range with his plasma gun. It is in low setting mode. He's getting a plus two modifier to hit, but full cover will negate that. So hitting on a three up. And that shot will hit, and ammo check will be required. Python's going to go down pinned. Needs a five up to clear that ammo check. He does. And this is a strength five against a toughness of four. So threes will be needed to wound, and it will wound. It was outside of his front arc, so the furnace plates aren't giving him that plus one bonus. So he needs a six up to save it. He fails. So two damage, two injury dice will be rolled out here. And he is going down with a serious injury. Now the shot rang off within 12 inches of Hivers that have line of sight. We are playing, they do have to have line of sight. One rolls up a broken, the other will do nothing, and the last one will become broken as well. Beat Stick is a Goliath Forge born. He is going to move to bring Severus within six inches, and he's gonna pull out his stub gun and fire up. There is no cover. Short range will make him hit on threes. His ballistic skill is normally a five, getting that plus two modifier. And he will get a hit. Severus will go down pinned. It is strength three, toughness three, so fours will be needed to wound. That will fail. Back over to the Dark Syndicate. Severus is going to stand, and he's going to target Beat Stick with his shotgun and firing with just a solid shot. It is within eight inches, so he will get a plus one modifier to hit, taking him to a three. It is a hit, so Beat Stick will go down pinned. Strength four, toughness four. Force will be needed to wound, and that is going to fail. Back over to the Thunderhawks. Piston is going to move, staying out of line of sight. And then back over to the Dark Syndicate. Sinister is going to make a move, and he is going to target Python with his last gun, and he is eligible to do so. Python is not behind cover of any kind. It is a short range shot with his last gun, giving him a plus one to hit. So normally hitting on fours, he is going to be taken to a three. And strength three against toughness four, he will need fives to wound, and he will get a wound. Furnace plate save is taken and failed, so an injury die will be rolled out here, and it looks like he is going to stay down with a serious injury. Hearing the crack of the gun, a nearby hiver becomes broken. And then we move over to Python. He is going to use his action to crawl. And back over to the Dark Syndicate, the champion Raven will activate, use his first action to move. His second is going to be to shoot his long rifle, and he will be targeting Brutus. And he does get to minus one for being full cover. Normally hits on a three. It is not long distance, so he will need force here with the modifiers included. And that shot will miss on a two. Up next, Big Red activates the lift, and he will pull out his combi plasma. He is going to shoot at Sinfall, and he normally hits on threes, and it's there's no cover. It is long range, so a three coming out, the shot will miss. And then Sinfall is going to activate. He is going to return fire with his Fletchet pistols. He does have gunfighter, so he will fire both of these. He will not suffer the minus one modifier to hit due to gunfighter, and he normally hits on threes. It is at long range. The first shot goes out, and it is a miss. So we're going to re-roll these out for the second pistol, and he will get a hit on this three. 
I did miss that this pistol was rapid fire. That three that comes out does not wound. He needed fives, and Big Red will go down pinned. We roll for an initiative check, which he passes, needing a three, so he does not fall. And then the Hiver should have reacted when Big Red shot. We went ahead and rolled for him, and he becomes broken. Then Hulk is going to activate, and he's going to use both of his moves to go eight inches. And he is trying to make the Dark Syndicate think about their moves, maybe applying pressure to two of them. The Specialist Darkseid has other things in mind, however, uses his first action to move, his second action to fire the web gun. Never used this weapon before, it is a template weapon, it is strength 5, and if it wounds you, you simply go down webbed, and this thing can be pretty brutal, especially to multi-wound guys, because it can take you out of action. So it is a template weapon, lines up into range, auto hits, and then we roll at strength 5 versus toughness 4. This thing wounds on 3s. And it will wound, so he is going to get webbed, and he is going down. And turn one concludes, House Goliath barely passes a bottle test. Python, who is seriously injured, will roll back over with a flesh wound. Several Hivers will move and attempt to rally, but none of them will actually rally. We are also going to roll for Hulk, as he is webbed right now on a flesh wound. He will not be webbed. And that is exactly what he gets, so he's going to be able to get unstuck. And we are looking forward to turn two. It seems like the lack so far has the upper hand. Priority rolls for turn two come out, and it looks like the Dark Syndicate will be up. Raven will activate first with his long rifle, targeting Bruiser across the board. Normally needing a three, the aim takes him to a two. And the Infrasight will reduce the cover by one, so he will need threes to hit. And he will get a hit easily on this four. The roll to wound, however, fails. Bruiser will go down pinned. He passes an initiative check and does not fall. The Goliath player then plays Inhuman Resilience as all of their fighters but one is pinned. And all of those fighters will now stand back up, and this will apply a lot of pressure to the Dark Syndicate on the backside of the board. Darkseid immediately reacts, firing his web gun down at Hulk, strength 5, toughness 4, so just needing a 3 to web this target, and he fails on this 2. He will use his ne next action to move, getting behind some cover. The Thunderhawks activate Big Red. He sticks himself with stem slugs to get a 6-inch move to bring Sinfall within short range of his plasma pistol. Sinfall plays the tactics card over here, interrupts his move, walks him off of the ledge. He takes a strength three hit. It does not wound, but he does go down pinned and will need to recover from the stem slugs in the end phase. Sinfall activates, moves to the ledge, and will target Hulk with his Fletchet pistols. And he's going to fire these in Fleshbane mode, I believe it is, giving the, the weapon Toxin. And he will need threes to hit. There's no modifiers for short range, and there's no cover. The gunfighter skill allowing him to fire both these weapons with no penalty. And the first is going to hit. It is rapid fire. So we're going to roll out two of these, looking for fours or more for Toxin to kick in, and gets both of these. So an armor save will be taken. One will be passed on this five furnace plates in the front. The other is going to fail, so an injury dice rolled out. He goes down with a serious injury. The second pistol is also going to fire in a similar method, and it's going to miss. Back over for the Thunderhawks. They're going to play Brutal Charge, giving Beatstick plus two to his movement. He has a base of five, and he's going to try to charge into Severus, getting a three-inch charge. So he is easily going to get up the ladder and make it into contact with Severus, and this could really hurt as Beatstick is carrying a heavy rock saw. And he is going to get base one attack, one more for brutal charge, and then one more for the actual charge. So three attacks going on this rock saw. He does need fours to connect. And this is going to be a strength six weapon if it does hit. So twos would be needed to wound, and all of them are going to miss. Severus uses this opportunity to strike back. He is unarmed, and he will be hitting on fours, and he is going to strike Beatstick. He is going to wound on a five, 
an armor save will be taken. Furnace plates up front will fail. And then an injury die will be rolled out for Beatstick here. And he's going to get a flesh wound. Back over to the Dark Syndicate. Sinister is going to target Python. He's not in cover. It is short range. He's got a last gun. And he will need twos due to an aim. And he is easily going to get a hit. Python goes down pinned. And then the roll to wound it is strength three against a toughness of uh, three. And that will fail. Brutus will target Darkseid with a crack grenade. The aim negates the partial cover, so he will need force to connect on the shot. He misses. And then from across the board, Mr. Black is going to activate, and he is going to target Brutus with his plasma gun. It is in low setting mode. He's in full cover. He does use an aim, so we will need force. That shot is going to miss. Ammo check required and failed. That gun jams up. Severus is then going to attempt to flee from Beatstick, not wanting to attack unarmed and potentially get hit by that rock saw. So he passes an initiative check, and then the Goliath player passes an initiative check to get reaction attacks. They all fail. He needed force, and then Sinister is able to get away, but he ends up falling as he attempts to jump down from the crate, and he is going to take a strength three hit. It does wound, and the armor save will be failed, and he is going to end up taking a flesh wound when an injury die is rolled out. In final moves, Piston is going to make a move with his first action and use his second to open up the door. And then we're going to see Crawl moves from Python, and Hulk is going to stay put, which is going to bring us to the end of turn two. In the end phase, Big Red is going to see if he can recover from the stem slugs. Anything but a one would be good, and of course he rolls a one, so an injury die will have to be rolled out here. The stem slugs have overloaded. That is a cock die that we're going to re-roll back out, and he is going to go down with a serious injury. And that's two fighters down for the Thunderhawks. They just barely passed their bottle check on this four, and then we are going to take a recovery test for Hulk. He will roll back over with a flesh wound. And in the end phase, some of the Hivers are going to move around. We did have a few Hivers that did rally. But overall, it feels like the Thunderhawks really aren't catching any breaks. Beatstick had an opportunity to take one of the Dark Syndicate members out and completely whiffed twice. So the Dark Syndicate also playing a lot of shenanigans to keep the advantage in this game. Turn three priority rolls coming out now. All right, Raven activates first for the Dark Syndicate, and he's going to target Beatstick with his lone rifle. He did aim, taking him down to a two to hit, which is good. He is going to get the pin on Beatstick, and lower toughness on Beatstick. That three is good for a wound as well. Armor save will be taken. Furnace plates in the front. That will fail, and then we are going to roll out an injury dice here, and it is a serious injury. Beatstick going down. Furnace plates not stopping the AP minus one on this weapon. We do check initiative on a four up, he does not fall. And next up, Hulk is gonna activate for the Thunderhawks and he's just gonna move getting out of the Fletchet pistols from Sinfall up top. This gets a reaction from Darkseid, he moves and he's gonna fire that web gun again with the template weapon strength five. And there is a flesh wound now on Hulk. So going straight to the wound roll, it does auto hit, just needing threes here in order to web him, and he's good. Thunderhawks are up next, and Python is just going to get to his feet with his first action. Second action is going to be to get into some cover. That's going to get a reaction from Sinister, who's going to fire at him with his last gun, using an aim first. That is going to take him down to a two, but the heavy cover puts that back to a four, and this five will get a hit, and Python is at a reduced toughness, so this three rolling out now will get a wound. Furnace plates in the front is going to fail, so an injury die will be rolled out here for him and Python going down with a serious injury. And back over to the Thunderhawks as they desperately try to recover. Bruiser is going to take a shot at Darkseid with his crack grenade from his grenade launcher. It's a strength six weapon. He is out in the open. He will need fours to hit. He does aim first, taking that to a three. Easily going to get a hit here. He will go down pinned. The roll to wound, just needing a two. Strength six against toughness three. That will wound. 
The armor save will go straight through. It's a two damage weapon, and it is a double skull. The first blood goes over to House Goliath. Sinfall sees Darkseid go down, so he moves into position, cocks solid rounds into the Fletchet pistols, and targets Bruiser. Twin guns blazing, but he does have the gunfighter special rule. We are giving partial cover. Fours are needed to hit, and he will land a hit, rapid fire, three hits going through, needing fives to wound. There will be one wound that goes through. So uh, furnace plates in the front, needing a five up. That is going to fail, and we are going to roll out an injury die. It's a serious injury. We take an initiative check that he uh, passes, so he will not fall, but he does go down pinned. The next pistol fires out again, passing, getting three more hits. It will wound. We accidentally roll a injury die here, so I'm just going to re-roll this one for the third shot. That'll be one more wound going through. Furnace plates will fail. Another injury die rolled out, and it is a skull. He's out of here. And I can sense a little bit of frustration for my son, who's rolling for the Goliaths today. He is going to charge Piston into a Hiver, which may not be a bad strategy, depending if he can take enough of them out and draw this game. Uh, two unarmed attacks going against this Hiver, and he will need fours to hit. Uh, getting a plus one for the charge here. One goes through, and it will be threes to wound, as they are uh, toughness three against strength four. It will do a wound, and that will take that Hiver out. Mr. Black activates next, and his plasma gun has scarce ammo, so it is not something that he can do. That gun is just jammed up. He is going to move twice. And Beatstick and Big Red are down seriously injured. They are just going to stay put for now. We'll go back over to Severus, where he is going to just get to his feet and make a move, which is going to bring us to the close of the turn. So the Thunderhawks, not in very good spirits right now. Most of their fighters are down. They're going to go ahead and voluntarily bottle. Probably would have bottled anyway. Python is going to stay down with a serious injury. We are going to roll for Big Red to see if he recovers. He will roll back over with a flesh wound. And then Hulk, who is webbed, we are going to roll for him on a flesh wound. He rolls back over. The serious injury means he will stay down. He will stay webbed. Over on the other side, the Forgeborn Beat Stick. He is going to roll up for a flesh wound as well. And here's a look at the board. The Thunderhawks really struggling to get an advantage in this game. We do roll up for the Hivers to see who rallies and who moves around. And we are getting ready to go into turn four, where it looks like the Thunderhawks are going to flee the battlefield. And that is exactly what happens. The Thunderhawks have elected to flee the battlefield, and we are going to take an injury roll here for Python to see what happens and see if he succumbs to his injuries. He does on a two, and we are going to move everything over to the post game coming right up. And welcome to the post game. And wow, what a show put on by House Delac in their opening game on the channel. These guys are extremely sneaky, and web weapons and fletchet pistols are downright dirty. Gangs will definitely need to prepare and adjust to these tricks moving forward in the campaign. For House Goliath, they had some bad luck in this game. While playing from behind, they actually drew first blood and took out a syndicate ganger, but they did have some key misses, especially when Beatstick missed twice with his rock saw. They had an opportunity to change the game, but it just didn't work out. In the post-battle sequence, Python succumbs to his injuries and is found out cold. They roll up a modified 13, which leads to his capture. Brutus suffers a critical injury, rolling a 64. Darkseid, who went out for Delac, is enfeebled, reducing his toughness by one. The Dark Syndicate will take control of the Ash Gate and collect 30 credits from it. They will also roll up for a free juve to join their ranks. Their home settlement will generate 20 credits and plus one rep. For winning the scenario, the Dark Syndicate will gain four rep reputation and experience to carry forward. The Thunderhawks will not gain any rep due to killing a Hiver. Their settlement generates 30 credits and a Juve. Since these two won't meet again in the first half of the campaign, captured fighters will be sold for half their credits. Python is lost back to the slave trade. Brutus was escorted to the dock, but they did not have the 80 credits necessary to save him and he dies as a result. The MVP of this match goes to Sinfall with his dual-wielding Fletchet pistols. He stopped Hulk on the charge and took down a Goliath Ganger. 
We hope you enjoyed this battle report and the opening game of Shadows of Primus. I'm sure we missed something here and there, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Up next, the deal orchestrated by the Dark Syndicate has drawn the attention of the Vanguard Enforcers to the Renegades of House Orlock. Our story will continue. See you next time.